I am going to discuss about the Laravel CLI or command line interface. What is the Laravel CLI? It is actually a powerful tool that comes bundled with the Laravel. It provides various commands to perform common tasks such as creating controller, migration, models, etc. You can use the CLI to generate the boilerplate code or run many tasks very quickly without manually creating files or modifying the configuration. When I am going to run the Laravel, uh, for example, this is a fresh Laravel installation and from here in the terminal, you can write code here or alternately what I can do, I can just open my command line. You see that the Laravel project is now into here, that is Laravel practice. Here I installed a fresh Laravel. Now I am going to open the terminal in this location. So you see that the location is showing Laravel practice. I am here. So in this case, as I have installed Laravel successfully, so I can run the commands that is CLI commands. For example, PHP artisan. If I hit enter, you will see that all the PHP artisan commands are here. All the commands are showing here. It is showing that this is Laravel framework 10.13. This is installed. And what is minus A is it is actually uh, to display help for the list command and etc. These are showing here. About is a command, then DB, docs, etc. Commander here, ENB. So it's set a command that given here. These commands are very helpful. I am going to uh, show you some commands. For example, if I run the command that is PHP, I am going to uh, clear it. Now I am going to run PHP artisan and all the artisan commands that you see from there I can, for example, write a command that is about. If I hit enter, what you will see? you will see about the detail of this installation. What is the environment? It is showing that application name is Laravel. The version name is 10.13. PHP version is 8.2.5. Composer version is 2.5.5. Local environment it is running. Debug mode is enabled. URL is local host. Maintenance mode off, etc. are given here in detail. I can write other commands also. For example, PHP artisan docs. If I write PHP artisan docs, you will see that it gives me a list of the commands that I can see detail from the documentation website. If you just here write Laravel valid or sanctum or here for example fortify Laravel for example fortify. If I write this and hit enter, it will take me to this website. So this is the Laravel fortify in detail from the web you can see about it. Now I am going to show you another command that is for example PHP artisan about that I already run some times ago but you want that what is this command about what it actually does in order to get help you can use minus minus help or you can use only just hyphen and then ace. If I press enter it is telling you that what is the task of this command that is display basic information about your application. It will show using the about command and all these will be shown by default. Just you see this description and uses these two. If I write another one PHP artisan docs minus ace, then it will tell you that it is actually used to access the Laravel documentation. There are many other important commands that we will frequently use using the PHP artisan command. For example, when we will create a controller, for example, in my application, I want to create a controller file into app HTTP controllers folder here. What I will do if I manually create a controller file there, that is okay. But using the artisan, you can create controller easily. For example, PHP artisan make controller and here you can give the controller name for example home controller if you press enter you will see that here a new file comes that is home controller already a nice layout it gives us so you do not need to write everything from scratch just you see that already a boilerplate comes here so in this way there are many uh, commands for example in order to create model we can use php artisan 
make model in order to create migration we can use PSP partition make migration if I want to see what is actually make migration then you can just put minus s after that it will tell you that it create a new migration file and the format is this so in this way there are many commands that I already have shown you using the PSP partition enter you will see that all the commands are given here that I already have shown you that what is the make controller this command you already see I created a controller using this command there are many commands like this uh, make factory then make mail make middleware make migration make model etc make observer make command make component I will show you all the most important things step by step when I will go to the associated chapters you just understand about the CLI commands what are those and how we can use the commands you have just learned it from this lecture